December 2, 2019. Review Baraka International Minist Rise as this year draws to a close, and it is another opportunity to give thanks to God for His faithfulness, His steadfast love, and His Spirit's presence to guide and teach. These have each been present in abundance throughout this year. For that, we give Him thanks, praise, and glory. At the conference, people love to give gifts coupled with that, we give thanks for all who have partnered with us in this ministry. First, some rather sad news in that the fellowship gathering in Barrie over the last number of years has decided it is best to move from a formal meeting place to continue as a home fellowships. It was prompted, in part, due to the need for the leader to focus more on family issues. That, coupled with the educational load, left little time for fellowship leadership, and so the inevitable decision was made. I am thankful for the teaching opportunities I enjoyed at Aliyah. On a brighter note, opportunities to teach at the weekly Bible study in Owen Sound, an added home Bible study, and our annual Sukkot gathering in Werner, Ontario, continue. These are valued learning opportunities for all involved, and we enjoy both the study and presentation these provide. Late August found me once again in Uganda doing the Fifth Pastors and Leadership Conference. What progress there has been in these few years. Last year we reported on the new worship building constructed, which then became the place of preschool classes as a start to the larger elementary, primary school. The picture at the top shows the new buildings constructed this past year, three classrooms and a headmaster's office and staff room. Besides, construction is underway on a home for orphans with the opportunity to attend the school. Before attending the conference, I visited Bussey Island in Lake Victoria expressly to pray for Mr. Kianga, who has been a vital encouragement and blessing to the fellowship there. His diagnosis of cancer, with only a month to live, became the focus of prayer for divine intervention and healing. We praise God, he has now resumed his business activities and involvement in the fellowship. He is the man to my right wearing the suit coat, in the picture above. At the conference, people love to give gifts, and this little boy, although shy, was no exception. These are the future of Uganda and people of faith in that country. The conference had 136 in attendance, and our teaching on drawing closer to God was well received. But, while in Uganda, I also experienced a much sadder exposure to the plight of innocent children orphaned through no fault of their own. The photo below is some of the group of over 200 parts of the orphanage called Cornerstone Primary School, which houses these children and being the place of learning for another 500 per days. These day students help provide the funding for the care of the dependent children. But oh, the needs. The staff was not paid for over two months when I visited. The hygiene facilities were beyond a crisis, with no potable water on the property dependent on purchased water. Cooking facilities off-site, and funds to provide only a single meal per day of the most basic and inexpensive food, no play areas, very few resources for learning. My heart broke as I watched, observed, but could only leave a small donation which I prayed God would multiply as he did the loaves and fishes for these precious children, smiling, laughing, created in the image of God. We thank God for our faithful partners in this ministry throughout this year. May you be blessed as we seek to follow his leading and minister where he leads. Receipts are available, if needed, for donations to BIM. Marion, and I thank you for your friendship, love, and support this past year. Our prayer is that we might return each of these into your life. Contact info. Baraka International Ministries, Dr. David G. Sloss, 3-115 Denmark Street, Meaford, Ontario, N4L, 1B9 Cell, 226-974-0394.